Uh, the intro is like seven minutes. Hold on. Cool. Quality would it would it be at? 4K would be nice, but uh, I don't want my my computer to go boom boom. So, an idiot it is. <laughs> what volume? Volume is gonna be like half. What an intro! Invincible to. Back I'm sorry, no, I'm staring. Oh wow! Huge fan, huge fan. Been following your career for quite a while now. Invincible Tower. This is Shola Marmota, approaching docking bay four. Closing the blast shields. Shola Marmota, you're cleared to dock. Yeah, copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in five. <laughs> Captain, uh, we're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. You know, I'm thinking maybe uh, we could hang out or something. Go get a cup of coffee and mud. Beer's cool. The beer. Oh, hey, Welcome Mark. aboard the Invincible 2, Captain. Glad to have you here. It took you long enough. But let me give you the grand tour before we embark. This is my pride and joy. My baby. Well, you're a baby, I guess now. But I made her, and a baby will always remember her. Father, I understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. Engineer. <laughs> First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. And when we found it again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. <laughs> it's not gonna be like last time. Oh, no. Well, this I... time, the Invincible is finally gonna live up to her name. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. Oh, my God. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. And speaking of explosives, the main reactor... Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. That's giving, like, Mass Effect core vibes. Captain? Oh, shit. What up, Bob? Yep. Yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. Oh, God. Cece. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. Oh, uh -huh. souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're gonna wake up at the sight of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. Hey, watch. Oh, yeah, I'm so. Oh no, Captain, I'm falling! Catch me! <laughs> <laughs> Not a 
navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good, Captain. Oh, shit, Port Matt. Online, unless it's not, and then we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left now. Is for you to how did ev everybody's just in here? Too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <coughs> Warp call engaged. Oh my well, God, Chica! <laughs> all pass now. Report to your assigned crime pod. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. Wormhole opening in ten, nine. Oh no! Eight, seven, six. A software update is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Oh no! Software updates are the worst! We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. The current ship state is in absolutely catastrophic. <laughs> Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. <laughs> This is where it starts getting hard. Warning. No mouse detected within life support. Warning. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Animation is getting me. The guns working to keep you safe. I said the asteroid defense system is fine. Oh my god. Um, Captain, please make your way to the nearest bunk and have a move. I'm gonna go with the dumb answer. Where are disguise? What's the disguise? Oh my god, a mustache! <laughs> For fooling aliens! Who is that? Unknown. Are they crew? Unknown. What are we supposed to do when an unknown person attempts to enter the asteroid defense system? Requirement to firing! Oh my god. <laughs> well. What? Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. What the hell just happened? Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol.
Oh wait, can we get Mark this time? Revising head engineer. Captain, what the hell is going on? Yeah, let's get in. Thank you. Um, what's happening? Support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Impact detected. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? This is a This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. Well, thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so you know, you should just be able to point and shoot. The asteroid defense system is <laughs> Well, that's new. Something's gone wrong with the computer. The drones shouldn't be able to attack the crew. I programmed them myself. All right, I know that's not a guarantee. But something's clearly changed. We gotta fix ADS or we're gonna get blasted to bits. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. Just what happened to the first Invincible. But they didn't have you! I know you got a plan to save us cooking up in that They didn't have you. Yours. I can see the wheels turning. You've faced oh, the God, three? a thousand times before. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm practically salivating at the thoughts of how you're gonna save um, us. Come on. Tell me! Wake the crew. Got a plan, Captain? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Gunther should be able to handle this. What yes, the hell? I can. I heard you had a little problem on your hands, Captain. Well, I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. He's gonna die, you isn't he? Drones. Ain't gonna get the best of me. Do my best what? if you think I'm the right person for the job. Well, not my first choice. But the captain is the captain. So, Mrs. Whitaker, when huh? you get in oh, the no, asteroid. No. I'm not married anymore, young man. Care for a cookie? Sure. Would love one. Appreciate it. Miss Whitaker, we need you to get in the asteroid defense system and what the fuck? Why? Well, when the captain tells you to do something, you best well get it done, I always say. And there's no problem a plate of cookies can't solve. Oh no. Hello, Mary. Care for a cookie? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Jobs done? Job done, Captain. We did it. Uh what did we do? Asteroid defense system online. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did we get here? Warning. Could it leak in cryo? Oh, can we move? What? Uh, okay. Well, Captain, I guess we gotta fix the problem. Do 
you remember what the problem was? Uh, I think there was something about cryo not. I think it smells like it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. You, you are doing what I think. I swear, hey, you just like this? Like you're gonna go in there and lock? Wait, my captain, take it away, please! Oh wait, they meant outside. <laughs> Just Calabongo with the book. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error. Wait, what? Into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Captain, did we make it? <laughs> <laughs> This is the our characters giving me Doom Guy vibes. Fire on the bridge. A what? A fire extinguisher? My brain hurt. Asteroid defense system offline. No. Asteroid defense system online. Have we been here before? Captain, what? Currently in cryo. Colonist core temperatures rising to unsafe levels. I feel bad now. I don't know what. What the. Alert! Colonist core temperature stabilizing. What? What? <laughs> Warning! Reactor overload imminent. Now the reactor's gonna go kaboom! How many more things can go wrong on this ship? <laughs> we gotta go! <laughs> Let's move! Hurry! Uh. <laughs> Mark is giving me Jim Carrey vibes, and I love it. There were coats <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god! Warning. 30 seconds until catastrophic reactor meltdown. Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. Don't. <laughs> Don't! It's not fair. Oh no! Uh, I wouldn't. Oh no! I'm uh, Captain! What happens if I reset again? I'm scared. Captain, wait! You're not going to the airlock, are you? <laughs> okay, great. Sorry, Captain. For some reason, and I know it's crazy, I had this bizarre feeling like you were gonna throw yourself out of the ship's airlock. <laughs> like I could see it in my mind's eye. To... Captain, no! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were gonna throw yourself out of the airlock! How did I know that? Captain, wait! What do you think this is going to achieve? No! We just reset again. All right, what what do we do now? I'm st I'm so confused, but I love this. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is nominal. Normal. What? Mm. Oh, morning, Captain. I just sleep. Good. Oh man. Are we early? I didn't expect. I'm flattered, but could you let go of my hand? Thank you. <laughs> Captain, are you feeling okay? Uh. 
Uh. Oh, morning, Captain. Did you sleep well? Hey. Morning, Captain. Not a single asteroid tried to hit us this whole journey, which is some pretty good luck. You're a boring pansy. But don't worry, Captain. I'll find something to shoot. Captain, all colonists are healthy and accounted for. I might even owe Mark an apology. Maybe. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Fishermen know that the sea is dangerous and the storm terrible, but they've never found these dangers sufficient reason to remain ashore. Uh, Captain, you seem a little stressed. I know that cryosleep can affect everyone differently, but coffee always helps. Relax. You did it. You got us here safely. Take a moment to enjoy it. This mug is actually a bomb. <sighs> the nurse, I warp core cannot what? be reached. What? Computer, what's wrong with the warp core? Warp core cannot be reached. Well, I know you can't reach it, but what's wrong with it? I don't know what's happening, Captain, but it can't be good. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. Well, that's a uh, new. Oh, yeah, good idea. Captain, I don't know what that is, but I know bad news when I see it. And that is bad news. We got to get back to the bridge right now. Oh, I wonder if is everyone frozen in like time? Oh, morning, Captain. Oh, or dead. What the fuck? I don't like Kane, man. Not Kane, man. H Crutch, man. Captain Mark got her ass and stuck in a wormhole. No, I did no. A Maybe I did. <laughs> a wormhole? My god. Mark got us stuck in a goddamn wormhole. Pulse <laughs> crest is redlining across all decks. How did Mark even cause this much damage? What does that activate the protocol? <laughs> Event Horizon Protocol Activation Successful Ship is free from the effects <laughs> of the wormhole that was caused by Mark Oh my god You knew it! You knew something was wrong! And boy, were you glad to prove it With the Event Horizon Protocol initiated The ship was finally free from the devastating effects of the wormhole <laughs> Although left to drift among the stars Luckily you just so happen to end up in a system with a beautiful planet suitable for habitation. Humanity's first colony among the stars would be a smash <laughs> success. The colonists celebrated oh this momentous occasion and eagerly awaited setting foot on this wonderful new planet. But you kept the colonists aboard the ship for a while. You needed time to check the planet for it, after all. When they asked you what it was, you simply responded that it was whatever they wanted to happen as soon as you let your guard down. Your crew didn't feel the need to question you further, and were more than happy to wait a few years aboard the ship while you finished scouring every corner of the planet for it. But once your checks were complete, the colony positively thrived. After you built an extensive network of defense systems and surveillance systems, of course. This you is giving mass effect. Out there what just the waiting fuck? for the right moment to strike. What the fuck? And with fuck? those systems in place, your people enjoyed the bounties of a practically idyllic planet. They also enjoyed the bounty of bi daily random security screens. Wouldn't want it to show uh, up in the middle of a supervised safety meal, now would we? But your people were happy when you allowed them to be. After all, happiness could lead to complacency, which could be disastrous when it eventually struck. But that was never going to happen, not under your watchful eye. The colony would be safe from them for many, many years. Uh. You made sure of it. Uh. Huh? What? Oh boy. Go towards the light. What the fuck? 
is going on? Oh no, another reset! Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Oh! Initializing an emergency wiki wiki protocol. Ship, and I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you. You. Everything that you've destroyed. Everyone that you have killed, you are going to undo everything right here, right now. Warning, reactor overload in five. Oh, what the fuck? My brain. Paradox detected. Requesting suitable host. Paradox detected. Requesting suitable scanning. Suitable host located. Oh yeah, this is big Mass Effect vibes, I'm not even gonna lie. What the fuck? Please resolve paradise. Emergency wiki wiki protocol override acknowledged. Opening cryopod. Am I? Are you? Did I? Did you? Did we? <laughs> We're immortal! <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> We're I immortal! I remember falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star. And then slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones. But I'm alive! And you're alive! And I remember. And you remember, right? <laughs> this is incredible! Computer, activate the emergency repair protocol! Oopsie boopsie protocol engaged. Oopsie boopsie! in force. Ah. 
system rebooted. Reviving true. Backup systems engaged. Okay. Uh, computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem. And my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two like more that he has a, ch like a cheek up the way I see it, all we need to do is keep jumping in and eventually we'll find the right door we'll get to the warp core shut it down save the colonists and then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love <coughs> so what do you say come on let's jump in again what's the worst that could happen we could die again i guess that wasn't that wasn't so bad Oh my god. That wasn't so bad. A kind of <laughs> emergency. I wanna. Can we jump in again? Hell yeah! We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time, too. So, this time. Oh, that's right. You dash. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Now we know what not to do. So, what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll definitely get it this time. Probably. Definitely. Can, can we actually get? Can do we get a different? Hell yeah! Hell, hell yeah! Right before we're resting on the shores of our new home planet, we'll be heroes. First, they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. Then they'll give me a medal. Then they'll give you a medal. They might give her a medal. Then they'll. Give <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, not gonna lie. Oh, that was my bad. I kind of get distracted by all the pretty colors. But they do say that failure is the best teacher, so shall we go again? Come on, buddy. Friend, pal, amigo. Captain. Captain. I do want to jump Captain. again, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go, fuck it. Hell yeah! I think we almost had it last time. It was pretty close there. I mean, you kind of screwed up, but I was doing great. So I'm gonna fix what I did wrong. You just do something completely different so that it's better. And we'll get there in no time and save all our people before they can say... <laughs> oh my god! type to assign blame but uh i can't help but feel like you could have tried a little harder like hey fuck you uh, man <laughs> i get that i'm the one to pull the most weight around here but we could help each other out you know but it's okay why don't we try it again we'll jump back in and this time we'll work together we'll work together like a team like friends do <laughs> i think i'm just gonna say? call a meeting <sighs> yeah you're probably right they deserve to know what's happening. And they might have some ideas how to solve this. Probably not good ones, though. So. Oh my god! Captain, thank you for such an upfront and thorough explanation of the situation. The mark of a great leader. Always being open and honest with the crew. Never holding anything back. The sweetest things turn sourest by their deeds. A lily that festers smells far worse than weeds. What? Uh, bottom line is, we need to get to the warp core and shut it down. It's having effects that I never could have predicted. The captain and I, we've tried some things, but we need fresh ideas. Yeah. Have you tried blowing it up? Obviously they've tried blowing it up. Look who you're working with! Uh, no, we haven't! But that is a good idea. No, like it's not. You know nothing about wormholes. You could actually cause a false vacuum collapse. Well, no, we wouldn't, and also that's impossible. I what think. if we back the ship up into the wormhole? <laughs> What if we pop her in reverse and just <laughs> undo all the wormhole stuff? Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain, <laughs> never do my stuff. It's clearly, we need to send out a distress signal because someone sabotaged this ship. You know, now that she mentions it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go over every inch of this ship and do some rap. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 no. no one sabotages 
the ship because the only two people that can change anything on the ship are me and the captain. And the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. And two, how could anybody find us if we don't know where we are? That's my point exactly. We don't know where we are, we don't know how we got here, and we have the lives of the colonists at stake. Or... Hear me out. No, no, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. And I'm sorry, it's not up to you. It's up to the captain. They haven't let us down yet. That's true. It's all deferred to your wisdom. What do you say, Cap? Uh, What's the plan? How are we getting out of this? I kind of, I kind of want it. <laughs> want to bop it in reverse. Bop her in reverse. Captain. No, you can't possibly think about that. Hey, you heard the captain, and they know what's best. I know, and this is such a horrible idea. It's going to kill all <laughs> oh, of us. relax. The captain knows what they're doing, don't you, captain? <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm crazy. We're all going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. For once in your life, just step back and put your faith in proper leadership. <laughs> you got this, captain? Bob, we're in reverse. Good. Good. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> another day, another crisis. What's the point? What the fuck? Current ship status. What in. Broken. Film the war? We're in, like, in the war time. Here I am again, back for another oh my ride god. in the merry go round of life. Am I immortal? Am I some kind of god? Or was this just another cruel game? Leading you on with beautiful promises, only to stab you in the back and leave you for dead. Whatever it was. Wait a minute, the way this is shot though is kind of dope. Yeah. Seems like that didn't work out so good for us, eh, Captain? <laughs> oh well. You can't win them all. All problems solved. Well, not all problems. Not the problem of my broken heart. Oh no. Oh my god, even even the computer is in the war. No how strong you are. When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wounds that leads you down. <laughs> the captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. The kind of look that could kill. And the kind of looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. <laughs> uh yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess? Or, uh, you're just happy to see me? Uh, um, fire all weapons at the wormhole? I'm, ca I'm tempted by all these terrible decisions. I was hoping you'd say that, Captain. I've been itching to get some payback on this wormhole for all the hell it's put us through. But why couldn't I shake a terrible feeling clutching my heart? Pulling the trigger felt right. I wanted to do it. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I suspected that this would come back to haunt us. <laughs> in the worst way. Well, looks like that's that. You did it, Captain. I always believed in you. What? Hello? Uh-huh. 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 It's for you. It's me, the wormhole. I bet you thought I was Oh dead, my god. You? Oh, I gotta admit, it was a pretty good shot. But when you shoot to kill, you better make sure they're dead, because they might just come shooting back. I'm coming for you, Captain! Wait, what was that post note? Oh my god, the, the wormhole! <laughs> so dumb! With a sucking whoosh and a swirl of blue energy, the captain of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency release to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. 
Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory, doomed to endlessly repeat the mistakes of the past. The captain's intrepid engineer also wonders the same as they emerge from their pod. What is this in narrating? Captain, do you hear something? The captain laughs a boisterous laugh at what is, obviously, another one of Mark's hilarious rooms. Mark must still be delirious from the after effects of cryogenic slumber. Right. Now, to be honest, we've all seen this part before, and I don't want the viewers at home to get bored. So why don't we skip ahead a few pages and get to our huh? good friend, Wub. Wait, what viewers? What did you say? What viewers? Oh no, fourth wall broken. <laughs> what? You! Wug, being the stoic, battle-hardened brute that he is, is unfazed by this new turn of events and proceeds to extract the English language out of Mark's soft, supple skull. What? Wug pilots the ship to the space fast food restaurant. The captain grabs the food. What is it? Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be a WUG-only fast food restaurant. The ship arrives at the Universal Stability Agency. We here? Arrival! We here! Oh, yeah. WUG removes the helmet from Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh, Owie. And so our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency. But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging <laughs> the worm eyes. that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? The captain thinks back to all the faces of the colonists under their care. Will they be able to save them? Or will they be doomed forever to suffer the same fate over and over again? And will Mark ever learn the captain's deep, dark secret? What? What? Only one way to find out. Was that about a deep dark secret? The bandit enters. <laughs> the bandit leaves. What the hell is going you. on? What have you done? Not so fast. Now we get to the interrogation. You are destroying everything. The bandit knocks out Lady. What? <clears throat> I said the bandit knocks out Lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> it's so hard not working with professionals. A vent cover falls on Lady's head. I said that's not my. Oh my God! And back to the ship. There we are, back on track, and not a moment too soon. With the device from the Bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. But will the twisting holes of the invincible I'm sorry. tube? What did you say they have? The uh, uh the ah, uh, the portable temporal displacement device. You know, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to navigate the chaos that is this ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh, my God. Okay. The captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. <laughs> the captain can get to the warp core now. They just have to find it. There. All you need to do now is use the device, and you'll be well on your way to part two of this whole ordeal. So the real business can begin. What? I'm sorry. Part two? What does that mean? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, Captain, Captain, I don't know what the hell's going on, but if there's another option that gets us out of here that doesn't involve listening to a crazy voice in our head, we might want to take that one. There is no other option written here. The next page literally says the captain uses the device and in a flash of blinding light is transported to another universe. There's no um, other way. You must move forward. Plan K. Everything for you. What's Plan K? I'm so confused. I feel like I chose the most off doing? the rocker route up, first. No, no, no. That is not part of the story. You can't do that. This is expressly illogical. What? And I won't have it. Where's my pen? Damn my pen! Hold on. Uh, what is that? Is that good? That's not good, Captain. What are you doing? Don't do what I'm thinking. No, no, the no, no. No. <laughs> uh, no. The captain changes their mind. No. What? 
Are you waiting for me? All right, fine. The ship blows up, I guess. Unbelievable. You deserve what's coming to you. What the fuck is going on? Having fun, Captain? I don't know what's going on. You know, they say every choice spawns a new universe. And if that's the case, what kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? Hmm? Is this the lady that had the cookies earlier? You have been working very hard to save your crew. Have you, Captain? Uh. What's one choice among the infinite, you might ask? One mistake is not all. And it's true, not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some choices are everything. So. I'm gonna make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. This portal will take you right where you need to be. All you have to do is step inside. Don't you wanna save your people? You're the only one who can. 11 minutes? Think long and hard about this, Captain. Well, now I'm not doing Do it. <laughs> understand the ramifications of your decision? Um, well, that's a long the wheels turn, ass. But is the hamster dead? I'm tempted. I'm sorry. I'm picking out the bad option. <laughs> Looking for this? Oh, Captain. Can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But that's your choice. You always did have a choice. I just thought you might want to at least understand the choices you're making. Uh. Do you even know who you are? Do you feel like you've been here before? No. Or Maybe. Is this just history repeating itself over and over and over again? Maybe you're gonna have to be more specific. I thought about that. You have to down. I'm the one Is that my ending? What the fuck? That kind of scared the shit out of me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I don't like this. What the fuck is that old mark? Uh Come back. Uh Did I like What the fuck? Did I pick like all the bad options? <laughs> what? Uh, oh god. Twenty seven days. Twenty eight. What the fuck? Uh. I can't help but feel like I got the bad ending. Uh. Wait, what's the description say?
Universe Collapse Detected Attempting to Resolve ETA May 2nd Oh! Wait! Is that the date of part 2? Wait a minute, there's no way. There's no way I got the canon ending first go. Are you serious? Well, uh... I, uh... Well, now I gotta... Now I, I feel... Uh, what? Do I... I feel like I want to do another run, but at the same time, I don't know. I feel like that was the wildest thing I've my brain has been through in a minute. Unless all like the outcomes are like that. Because if so, then oh God. What do the comments say? <laughs> My first ending, I mean, well, self sacrifice. We glitch the universe. <laughs> How many uh, people had this as their first ending, and we're all just chaos? <laughs> is that is that what is that what this was? We're just all chaotic people, and we just happen to just be here as our first ending. <laughs> 